Hey everybody, Brandon Boyd with The Brandon Boyd Show. Thank you so much for watching. Today I want to take you on a quick tour of our recent stay at the Hyatt Regency Maui Resort and Spa. My family and I just got back from a 10-night trip in Hawaii. Eight of those nights were spent in a different location, but our first two nights were spent here at the Hyatt Regency. The cash price for the rooms were a little over $500 when we booked, but we used 25,000 Hyatt points per night to stay in this Category 6 property. Now, when you first walk in, you can see the lobby was really nice. There are birds in the lobby. Thumbs up for birds. And don't be coy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. That was really corny. I apologize. But there are all kinds of cute little animals everywhere. My kids absolutely love these. So when you first walk in, of course it's Hawaii. The ambience is unbelievable. And it's a real open air setting and I'll show you that in just a second. But in the meantime, you can go check out birds, fish, and penguins. Apparently penguins live in the North Pole and Hawaii. I had no idea. Now this is a good view of the open air concept right in the center. And when you're in Hawaii, why wouldn't you have an open air feel, right? And you can see looking down on the lobby area there, super nice when you walk in it feels like hawaii as you walk through the lobby you will see the retail shops and let me tell you something this honolulu coffee you better line up pretty early to get there it must be really good because the lines are ridiculously long but that could mean it's really good as well they do have a nice shop here to pick up any munchies that you may have over the course of the day and if you forgot to shop for any of your hawaii gear before you came my wife was concerned that we couldn't find a lot of Hawaii gear in Kentucky. Shocking. But we found out once we got down here that there were plenty of shops within the resort that could help out with that. You can see there's shirts for kids, adults, and I may have picked up a Hawaiian shirt or two. I don't know. But there was plenty of stuff once you get there, so don't worry about that. As you keep walking down the hallway, you can see the steakhouse there. But one of my favorite aspects of this stay was the Regency Club. My wife is a Hyatt globalist, so we were able to take advantage of the Regency Club, which essentially gets you free food for most of the day. And you can see as we pull up on the sign here, they have different hours for breakfast, snacks, appetizers, and desserts. And if you are a globalist like we are, then you can just kind of come and go in there at these hours and grab as much food as you want. It is a beautiful thing. In this particular case, I was walking in during the snack period, which my kids really liked, cookies and potato chips. I mean, how can you beat that? When we came in for breakfast, it was a full-on breakfast. We're not talking some kind of rinky-dink thing. It was scrambled eggs, sausage, bacon, biscuits, croissants, the whole nine yards. It was really nice. And they also had these really cool juices as well. We drank, I don't know how many of those, but they were unreal. When we initially booked our room, we just booked a standard room without an ocean view. However, we were hoping for an upgrade because of my wife's globalist status, and we were handsomely rewarded with that. And this is the view from our balcony that we got for the two nights that we were there. The other eight nights that we were in Hawaii, we got upgraded there as well with the globalist status. So we cannot recommend that enough. If you want more information on how to become a high globalist quickly, just check down in the description below and you'll be able to find our link for how to do that in 2021. The grounds themselves were really nice. When you think of Hawaii, you think of, you know, the bright colors, the blue sky, the ocean breeze, and we were not disappointed by that at all because this had pretty much all of that. Lots of flowers around and you can see the ocean there in the background. Really nice setup and again, more wild looking animals. That is a black swan, black goose, a black something, but it's really cool. Now, on to something that I do want to make sure I discuss, and that is the beach itself. The resort is on the beach, which is great. We had an ocean view room, which I am not complaining about at all. However, I do want to talk about a couple of the issues I had with the beach. So you can see on the sign here, there is a shoreline project going on. Essentially what I was told is that the beach is eroding and that causes a little bit of a problem because as you'll see here in just a second the beach isn't very big whether you get up in the morning you stay all day or stay into the evening the beach is essentially the same size all the time and it goes uphill pretty dramatically so if you're looking to get your stair stepper workout in this may be a good way to do it there's not a lot of room here to spread out and run around although the water is really nice and my kids enjoyed it the beach itself is just not very big and doesn't get any larger over the course of the day with the tide for whatever reason. But they are doing a restoration project, so I'll cut them some slack on that. 
just something to keep in mind if you have a visit coming up to this resort anytime in the near future. As far as kid friendliness, the waves are pretty tame up until about 10 or 10.30 in the morning. After that, they start to get a little bit rough, and that was the case with the waves at our other resort as well, so that's just Hawaii in general, I suppose. Moving on to something a little bit more positive with the resort, the pool area is very, very nice. My kids really enjoyed it, and I'm going to show you some up-close looks of this right now, but here's kind of a quick overview of the main pool area. There's plenty of room, and trust me, this keeps going further and further around the rocks over there, and I'll show you that in just a second. The pool is very deep in some areas, so that may be something you want to be aware of. It's nine feet in some areas, four feet in some areas, but there's also a separate kids area as well. And you can't have a pool in Hawaii without a waterfall. There's a cool cave that you can crawl through or swim through as well with a bar on the inside. So again, the space itself is very, very large and you can see people standing up over here. As you're going through and getting closer and closer to the children's play area, you'll see it's not quite as deep. Now, the children's play area has what I would call, I guess, a splash pad area with a small slide there, and then there's another larger slide on the other side. That bridge that you see there helps connect you back and forth between the small slide and the larger slide. So if you're bringing kids, there is plenty to do here. Don't worry about that. And you can see my son there in the orange wondering what in the heck I'm doing. For whatever reason, he wanted to just hang out in the nine foot area the entire time and make me a nervous wreck, but he was perfectly fine. If you do forget your pool inflatables, they do have those available. And they're actually not a total ripoff. They're like five bucks for the pool inflatables. So don't feel too bad if you forgot to bring your floats or inflatables. And just to demonstrate how much fun the pool is, there is a plunge to the bottom of the pool. I think that he did this about 768 times, and you can see the marker over there says nine feet deep. One of my other favorite aspects of this, and I cannot compliment this place enough, is the snow cones. You may think, okay, I've eaten a snow cone before. No, you haven't until you've eaten at Ululani's. This place takes it to another level. The snow cones are not like ice. It's literally like eating soft snow. You can pretty much put any kind of combo that you want into these bowls and all of them are delicious. If for some reason you run out of flavoring in your bowl, they just tell you to bring it back up and they'll put more flavoring slash syrup in your bowl. There's a mango one right there with some snow on top. It is absolutely the softest, most delicious shave ice I've ever had easily. This shave ice location is literally right next to the main pool here as well. So you just take a few steps and you've got a delicious shave ice. Switching gears a little bit here, and I hate to go negative again, but I want to make sure that everybody is aware of the situation here. The parking here is atrocious, okay? The parking lot itself is very narrow, and if you get a minivan with a family and you try to back in and out of these spaces, it is more narrow than it looks here on the video. I was able to capture some open spots here first thing in the morning, but after about 12 or 1 o'clock, you're going to be hard-pressed to find any parking here. There are people circling around everywhere just waiting for you to leave. So between the narrow spots and not enough available spots, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt, so just be aware of that. However, once you do make it back to the resort, there's so much nice scenery. The people there are very friendly, and I recommend this location. There are a couple of challenges that I mentioned, but overall, I highly recommend this resort. And if you are a globalist, then make sure that you look for that room upgrade as well, because we were able to get a room upgrade to Ocean View without any issue. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like this overview of the Hyatt Regency Maui Resort and Spa. If you want to see more of these in the future, don't forget to be awesome. Give me a big thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifications for alerts. And when you click on the Brandon Boyd Show, you're going to get the latest info on everything related to credit cards, points, miles, money, travel, and everything in between. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. We'll see you soon. Aloha.